pretty much it for oh, good. Thank you. Have for things. Um, one of the things on here, and I don't see where anybody left us something to sign, was they want the listers wanted us to sign the certificate to officially close 2019 grand list, and I talked with Jan about it, and she said. It gets signed this time of year, and I think I remember we pointed out that this needs to get done this time of year before it used to get done when they lodged the grand list. Anyways, the idea is to close out the year for the 2019 grand list, and you could only do that if you don't have any pending legal actions on anything. But we, we do. About, no, we don't. We don't have any. We don't have. Anything for grievances. Okay. Not to oh, I see. taxes. I see. Oh, this is okay. listers. So this Got is it. grievances. Got we don't it. have Got any it. pending board of abatement stuff. We mm -hmm. don't have any pending grievances with the listers. It's all been mm -hmm. done. And I thought they were gonna leave something for us to sign, but they didn't. So next time. Well I would authorize that do we all have to sign it? I don't know. Well, I would authorize make a motion to authorize Denise to sign it on our collective collective behalf. If it shows up tomorrow, and you can do that. If not, okay. we'll just deal with it. Okay. Is there a second? So we'll second. Deal with it. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I'll ask them because I thought they. I said, "Are you going to leave us something to sign?" Mm -hmm. I don't see anything unless somebody else does. Okay. We already talked about UVM tree. I'll look at that tree warden. I mean that tree tree award, award thing. And does, did everybody see this? From VLCT, there's an article here, the real losers in the cannabis tax game. And then there's one. Is that current as of last week? Mm -hmm. What? Well, no, I talked to Karen last week. There's a whole thing about cybersecurity. And we've talked about it some here, and we've talked about it with Ruben. I know it's a concern. It sounds like they're gonna have some gonna have some trainings. And there's a House Bill 692. Um, the, the bill would re require the Secretary of the Agency of Digital Services to inventory and identify any municipality, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, there are just to keep everybody in the loop, there is stuff going on about cybersecurity, which I know I've been concerned about with staff. And we asked about a training, remember, that might be across, you know, maybe it's a webinar thing that somebody puts on that a bunch of towns can participate in to identify safe security. I know they had an incident here a while ago where it was a scam or a phishing yeah. thing. I don't remember what it was now, but there was one. And it, people did good to identify it. I just worry about people like staff working in the town garage that might not be as sophisticated with the use of computer stuff. How do we make sure that they don't sign on to something. You know, some of this stuff looks real. I get stuff at home. But they don't access our server. They're either. not on the network. They're not. Okay. So they don't worry. All right. Just be there. There you go. That's good. That's good. All right. Now if we get an app that tracks the trucks that be married to the website, that might be different. The truck takes <laughs> off down the road. Boom. They're actually worried about that with these autonomous cars. I bet. I bet. That they're really hackable and mm -hmm. someone could just. Mm -hmm. And Tilly could go by and they hit the go fast button. And it's really scary to think about those automated cars. It really is. Anyway, so do you want to do minutes? Do I want to? You want to or do you want to go home? I want to go home. But you can do minutes. Well, well I, got them, I got them. I didn't read them. Yeah, I got, let's do a couple yeah, of them. Maybe we got a lot of, lot of them to do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do, yeah, I did too. I read. Uh, the only two I didn't look at were the last two. All right, you want to start with 12 9? Yeah, 12 9. And I don't know, usually Rose reviews them, but I don't know whether she did. She usually. These are Rose's minutes. These are, but some of the ones we're going to look at are not. Yeah, you're right. She will be glad they're done. Yeah. This thing is in my phone. Yeah, change firstly to first. Um, I think there was a, was this the one where it was really long? And there was a bunch of meetings all together? Mm -hmm. 
No, I think it's the next one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is extended yeah. into another date and time. We'll do that. Yeah, here, this is the more North Cal's Memorial Hall thing about the taxes. Oh, they came and, was here. Yeah, they came and talked to us about it, but we didn't, no decision was made because they were going to do research regarding yeah. the legislative exemption and you right. just updated us today. Right. Well, so. We need to get that paperwork, I think. Right, but I want to make it clear that we didn't make any decision, that's all. I don't think I, I can't remember if I had any put anything when there's a whole bunch of comments like that it's hard you can't put in another comment or else it shows up like five miles away yeah oh really yeah. that's but if you're suggesting it mm -hmm. should strike and replace in mm -hmm. the text mm -hmm. you see it yeah, sure. like that oh, one. I see. Yeah. yeah, and then you and then the comment is redundant. Yeah, you had a double comma there, Katie. Oops. After recording, secretary second line up. Okay. On the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second yeah. line from the bottom on page two. Mm. Good eye. Yeah. Mm. A lot of times when I import them to Word to get them to PDF, I'll I'll do one more grammar check because Word will identify it even more easily than mm -hmm. Google Apps. Okay, and then the yellow block up above, are we good with that? The box is off. It is. Select board stipends. Yep, that's all set. Wait, 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 can we go back to that? Sorry. Sorry. I just resolved it. We can go back. Hold on. Uh, it's right to see it as it's resolved. Yeah. Consistent with the budget, yes. Yep. Yes. Where are these? December 9th, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, John made a motion. I'll second. All those in favor with the changes, please say aye. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Even if we can get through these, some of the December minutes tonight, you can. No, yeah, so great. Right. This might be the one where there's like three. I did have a question on this one. For the technology? We had said we would look at creating one, but then we were educated by Sandra that we already had a technology fund. So I don't know if we want to revise this. Mm, I don't really think you, sh you can. It was something that was discussed at the meeting. I think it was discussed in subsequent yeah. meetings, yeah. though. Oh, it okay. can, but, but tonight's okay. meetings can reflect that that as a point of follow-up, Katie, that we learned that this is not required because we already have one. And then you can just refer it back to the technology fund wasn't required. That we right. already, we already, have have already had an existing fund, so we didn't have to create one. And then you can make a note to refer back to the December, whatever one those are, budget development, December budget development meeting that went on for days. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Weeks. I'm just making a note here so I have it. Okay. So you have it. I'll put it in tonight's minutes though. Okay. And it, yeah, that was approved by the voters. Yeah, I forget. It was a couple of years ago. At least two or three years ago yeah. when Donna was in treasurer. Yeah. But what the upshot of it all is, is now we will be better educated every year with our annual meeting with our IT service provider of yeah, what right. amount That's of money great. we should put into that. Right. So there's a reverse order thing. Is that indicated? The town, the town hall has been not, not been. Oh, yeah. You got it under this one front paragraph. The next 
matter. Now with the highlighted one. Oh. Yeah. Katie, Katie Maker notes in the world of yeah, journals. Right. Okay. So. Okay, and which one was that? The highlighted matter. Uh huh. What town hall? Yeah, the town. It has not been, not been, not. Oh, that was everything yeah. I had on that. Uh huh. Oh, please put the right. The exchange budget is right in here. Yeah, the board discussed the payments. Remember pulling up the. 1400. Uh, yeah. I went online and checked it out. Cost for heat exchange and maybe. Mm. I mean, when it's all, you know, if that smell doesn't go away and stuff, $1,400 is not that big of a price to pay to have some clean air. Yeah. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to off gas for a while. Yeah. You know? So Green Line Builders is gone, right? They're done. Yeah, they're done. Yeah. Are they out of business? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sadly. Sad. It is. Horrible. And now we have special. You'll fix that. It does weird things on formatting. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then when you put them online, then it fixes it. Yeah, I'll bring it yeah. back to Word. Good. I think that's finally the end, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. So. So helpful having it up there like that. Move so, yeah, move to approve. Second. Move to approve. All those in favor, please right. say aye. Aye. Okay. Do we have any more December ones? That's it. That's 1231. That was all the December ones. No, no it was 1216. Oh, yeah, it was 12, Because those are like special meetings. These are some of them. And this is, um, well, this is a special meeting, but this is the fire department one, I think. Yep. Uh, yep. So that, this should be fairly quickly easy to get through. That was me that said we're fine. Yeah, I didn't have any changes in this one. Mm -hmm. I, don't I don't think I did. Nancy was And Katie did print. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Who did that? Um, it was Holland, right? Holland actually did it. Um, that happened uh, what was was Wednesday of last yeah. week. Yeah. 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 Quick. You had to come yeah. in and also the computer. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 So I made a motion now. to approve these uh, special, special meetings. With the Eastmont Player Select for the uh, fire department dated 12 17 to 16. 16. Oh, oh, that's the date of submission. Right. Um, second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. I think I got through the first. I don't know anybody else. Did anybody else start looking at the. I went through them all today. Mm -hmm. um, one, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was a special. Meeting. I want to make sure we have time for a little, a uh, little bit of executive session. I just want to say out loud, so oh, everyone knows that okay. before. Okay. Well, let's make this the last one. All your energy on that. Okay. This is the last one. Okay. 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 I read all your changes. Mm -hmm. I'll defer. Yeah. Um, I think I made a note. Somewhere I made a note about this because I remember. Oh, I saw any comments 
Yeah, then we decided yeah. to move forward yeah. with that. And we know now that Toby's already made yeah, that we did. that. So yeah, we did. We absolutely did. Yeah. So at this meeting, should I change it to be more clear? Let's see. I don't think I wrote all of that. I think I just like maybe moved it so it looks like it yeah. right. was all the whole ad. It's all so I think you moved it so it's all like you know, yeah, it's like that. Here here I wrote if the town opts to join Roger Hill's service. So maybe it should just say maybe we should take that out. Yeah, Roger Hill that. will send a bill to the operations manager right. for this service for this season. Yeah. And I remember the discussion about it would allow the drivers to communicate directly. That was the whole point of having the Roger Hill thing. Did that happen at the next meeting? Was it at the next meeting? Might, it well, might have been. Oh, we, no, yeah. well, let's defer these then until the yeah, next time. Yeah. So that we have time to go into executive session. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think we ever. I don't. I have to. I have to go look at the other minutes, but I don't think we ever, like, made a motion. I think we just agreed. That was a no brainer. Yeah. Okay. So wait on these guys. We done. Yep. Mm -hmm. Groovy. All right. So we want to go into executive session to what? Personnel. Uh, personnel. Okay. One PSA section three one three A three. Okay. Uh, my trouble again. Probably. Uh. <laughs> Thought I was the only one in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are living in a dog house. Denise, I'll message you and ask you about the entity. The entity. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Rose isn't here, I'll have to tell you what time we adjourned. Yeah, we're done. Once my dogs are over thirty years old, so. They so anyways, I think let's, I'm going to find out why Toby didn't come tonight. There might, it might have been some incident with the fire department that he had to respond to, so I want to give him yep. the benefit of the doubt yep. that you know, he does have that other function that he does. But I want to ask, I think, next week, Next week, um, the 24th. When, so 24th, more questions for Toby about GPS stuff. And I'll also see what the new VMs project back right. they'll have some recommendations. I'd also like to know if we have a big storm and because there's a big storm schools are closed mm -hmm. um, do the truck drivers do our plow guys go out as early as they would were school open? That's a good question. Right, or did they, they come did they lag an hour? I mean do commuters are they I mean, I really feel like when you have a storm like that, they should be out regardless of whether schools open. Oh or yeah, they should be um, early because you know everyone's lives matter. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good question to confirm with Toby. And if it's not the case, why isn't it? And let's make it so. And I'm just remembering, I did a little investigative work on the school bus tire. Oh yeah, I was going to ask yeah, you about that's that. Yeah, on the agenda, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's on the agenda. Yeah. Okay. Is this the right time? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So did I mention last meet, this meeting I was in East Montpelier Center and the bus pulled over mm -hmm. at the top of the hill where you dropped down the other side heading to Montpelier, mm -hmm. um, but just above the Ostrom house. And I slowed down and I creeped and I stopped and I looked and this bus is still had this, that bus still had those what I call summer tires on. Are you serious? So I called the school board chair and he was, it was timely because he was heading out the door. It was like when I called that to meet with the superintendent, he was going to have a conversation with her, the acting Actually. superintendent and he was going to have her call me. She would, and so they had the meeting. Um, I called Scott back. Um, or he called me, said she was going to call me, and I called him back saying, well, she didn't. And he said, well, she was going to investigate and then call. In the meantime, I went down to the bus storage yard, and I photo-documented every single Washington Central bus, and I could only find three buses with snow tires on them, and the rest didn't. So, so well, so let me finish. 
So I have a voicemail I could play for you. Let me play it for you. <laughs> Rather than mischaracterize, and I'll explain everything. I did not call her back because I felt like my questions were answered and... They were or weren't? Well, yeah. Let me play the voicemail for you. I'll put it by the pickup there. Deborah Taylor, the, the acting superintendent, and hopefully you all can hear it. Hi, John. This is Deborah Taylor calling 2290553. I'm the superintendent, and I was giving you a call as I had last week to touch base with you about a question you heard regarding a bus tire. Uh, so I wanted to, I'll give you a quick message, and then you certainly may call me back if you need more information. Uh, so hopefully this will fit into your voice mailbox. Uh, so first of all, all buses have snow tires in the rear. And uh, in November, uh, we examined a snow type winter steering tire. Uh, and some of our buses were changed to this. The driver of the buses that were equipped with this new steer tire provided feedback about the handling of the bus. And in those cases where a bus were to drive primarily on pavement, uh, they, there were challenges, and this became a concern for a first student. So the drivers who had the new steer tires were expressing concern, uh, and as a result, the, those steer tires in two of our towns, including East Montpelier and Berlin, were changed back to the original steer tires. Uh, the buses who travel a majority of dirt roads, including uh, Callis and Worcester and Middlesex, have the new winter steer tire. Uh, while the buses that travel the majority of paved roads have the original steer tires. I hope that answers your questions, and if you have further questions, please feel free to reach out, 229-0553. And um, if you can't catch me, we should speak with Krista, my assistant, and we can, she can make a phone appointment so that we can touch base personally about these matters. Thank you very much, John. I hope you're having a good day. So, reportedly... Um, the Cal's top buses have steer tires. I had, had asked a couple of months ago um, before the tire meeting mm -hmm. um, what, how many buses serve, what are the buses that serve Cal's, and I believe they said there were three mm -hmm. buses. Sounds right. So I counted three buses with snow tires. So it still begs the question that I need to return mm -hmm. the phone call. It begs the question if buses covering Worcester, mm -hmm. Callis, and Middlesex mm -hmm. all have steer tires. I did not three. count enough buses, I don't believe, to, to meet that requirement to serve with, three with snows. If At least in the yard, unless yeah. they were out running around. They could mm -hmm. have been out running around doing exactly. late night sports mm -hmm. or hockey game or but something. Which, those would have then been probably buses that travel on the pavement. Which I, I don't know. I, so I, I don't want to conjecture. Mm -hmm. It's like the Valentine Road thing. Yeah. I'll check in with her. Um, but I photographed. Did you did you get the numbers? You know, the, I got the bus the numbers 15, and 16. the tires. I went through all the buses. Mm -hmm. Let me here, I'll show you here. Did they come out and ask you why you were taking pictures no. of the buses? So these are the. I don't know. You have to tell me what I'm looking at. That's these are the snow steer tires. They got. They have a. Well, I you'll don't see. What steer tires are? The front tires, as opposed to the back tires. See, that's got an ir a irregular tread. Because they were supposed to put snow tires all the way around. Right there. See, those are the front snow tire types. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. Here's the summer tires. What I call the summer tire mm -hmm. or over the road tire. Mm -hmm. And that was. So that one was on a U U11 had an over road tire, U7 had an over road tire, U14 had an over road tire, hmm. U1 had an over road tire, U4. These are all the buses I took pictures of. Uh -huh. Are over the road tire bus? Oops, there's a snow tire. 
What was going to ask Katie? You don't know. I think. You're 17, you ate. I think it was my recollection, but it's been a few years, so it could change. Never mind, I'm not going to say. What, 18, you 3. You're 22. I got a lot of blackouts for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I goofed up, but so. But anyway. you're gonna follow back up. With I will. That, I will. Gonna, okay. I will. You're six. I mean, what's on that one? You're 16. Yeah. These are the ones with the regular conventional tires. Yeah. But they must have a list. Of so then there was one on the end that had this tire. Which is what that. Which is, I, which is a snow. So they must tire. have a list of the U all the U buses, in which buses typically go to Worcester. That's right. That's right. Go to the silence. silence. They absolutely do. Um, so that because they told us that they were going to put snow tires all the way around on the buses. Yeah. So That's what they I guess I, I guess it's it would be great if the school board and, and I should I, I owe Scott Thompson a call back. I'm kind of slow getting stuff done here. Um, and I, I was going to suggest to him that he print out he get a printout of the bus numbers and which ones have which mm -hmm. tires. So they know which communities are served with the various right. tire applications. So and he might get it a lot faster than you. So I just want to. I mean, if, if first third mm -hmm. is, student is doing it as a superintendent, as I told the superintendent, then we should be able to see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Three buses serve Callis. Maybe they serve. And which ones are they? I would have thought Callis was served by um, E32, but maybe a Callis bus on the west side of town is the one that also serves. Worcester. Worcester and Millstone. Yeah, it might I be. I don't know. Yeah, it, it very well could be. Um, it could be just three buses that serve those. I don't know. So. All right, so you're going to follow up with Scott. Yeah, I'll just keep okay. picking away at this. I don't think they're the same because the elementary schools all start at the same time. But, so, if, but oh, if they're picking up kids, no, but if they're picking up kids oh, to go to U32, yeah. they might, those are probably going to be different than the elementary school buses, right? They are. That's my point. Is they they do. There might be overlap with the U thirty two seventh grade on, mm -hmm. but there's not overlap in the elementary school. No, because all the elementary kids schools are going to Callis. Worcester kids are going to Worcester. And they all start that, at the But same the U thirty two buses right. might overlap. But there they're the same be, buses. They just they, they are the same back, buses. They, that's why the that's why U thirty two starts an hour and a half before the little guys. Mm -hmm. And there were, and there used to be, I think, three buses serving Callis Elementary. So, so that means that yes, let's hope there were a bunch out doing sports programs uh -huh. because three is insufficient to be serving three towns. Right. And so I did this at night. I, but that's when you have to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the buses have to be in the yard, or I have to get up pretty darn early, and, right. and it'll be dark again. It's, so. uh, you might be able to find them if you, not that you want to chase this down, but you might be able to find a bus schedule on the website. You might be able to find it on the, on the, on the yeah, Washington County. A, B, and C. They probably don't want, that's probably some kind I of thing, they, they probably don't want to post that. So I that think that might be right. Child safety, you know. I think we always send the call to get that or it came with yeah. the parent pack or something. But, you know, uh, Scott Thompson should be able to get the list as chair of the, you Bus number, up. school assignment, right. or route, school route, route, school and, route. Do they and, serve? and which tires on which. That's right. all. Yeah, that's what we want. You've got which tires are on. Yeah. Yeah, but we should be. We need to. Well, they, what do they? We say should. We shouldn't have. Yeah. Right. We shouldn't have to go and make our own list. No. We could check what they say by what you have. No. Anyway, I'm gonna bite my tongue before I get myself in trouble. All right. Um, I've got a. Just stronger it, opinion than I'm you need more evidencing facts. here. You need more facts. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. More facts. We don't have to argue about this. But Deborah Taylor was no, great. No I will thing. say that. She did There's a great job. She was very yeah. responsive. Facts she investigated facts. it. Yeah. Um, so I, just, I need mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. getting okay. back to two, two folks. So. Facts and yeah. facts. So what? just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts, ma'am. She did a great job, so I was really happy with that. Good. Her response. Okay, do we want to hear about Friends of the Town Hall? I want to know why they're friends and not lovers of Town Hall. Oh, that comes next. Because yeah, we yeah. love the Town Hall. Yeah, we have to be friends first. Okay. <laughs> we okay, decided we start to out keep as friends. Yeah. As friends why, just, why can't we just be friends <laughs> <laughs> of the Town Hall? 
Okay. But there are benefits. Friends with benefits. <laughs> Friends with benefits. Oh, this is digressing. Okay. We need to we need to make sure oh. we get out of here early. Yeah. Okay, too late. So <laughs> Not just, early enough. Just to <laughs> touch quickly upon um, your question, Sharon. The way it will work is uh, we're going to build a website. It will probably be something like callistownhall.org. And if you look at the playing field model, you'll see that they have a calendar that shows events that are happening, cultural events uh -huh. that are happening at the town hall. Correct. And that's what the Friends Group is really managing, is the cultural events. If someone wants to use the town hall for something, they would go to the website, um, fill out the forms that they are required to submit, requesting what date and time they want to use it, the nature of the function, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, Artie will likely be the one who ends up managing that event's calendar, and his first order of business will be when one of those requests come in to go see what is the town municipality functions scheduled around that. And are they compatible, or is it out of the question because there's something already scheduled? For that kind of place? Can I interrupt? Mm -hmm. So right now we put all the town events on the town website calendar, right. and we did that even before we had the renovation work on it. Would say town office or town hall mm -hmm. of where the meeting was going to be located. Yeah. So to do that. so that will still be the same yes. mode. So basically but the downstairs. Art, right. So yeah. Artie will have to go to the town's website calendar to see if some town function is scheduled there for the same time and date. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. So they're gonna be booking downstairs too? No, no, but in order to book upstairs, you wanna we don't want a rock band session going oh, I on see. if there's a seven o'clock planning commission meeting downstairs. I see. Exactly. Uh, right? Yeah. So he's gonna have to go back uh, and forth. So municipal functions. Will first. always take priority right. over any of the cultural wow. ones. As they should. Good. Great. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. And we just manage our own town calendar. Right. So exactly. anything, but yeah. sometimes there is a function that they may need downstairs for, right. like right. you know, right. if they're going to be have some food and they need to use the kitchen yep. space or whatever. Mm -hmm. So and the that, bathrooms and the course. bathrooms are down there. Exactly. So you know it's gonna it's gonna probably get met, mixed up a few times until you yep. kind of figure out and the best way to work this. Right. We we have the advantage of uh, a town that has gone through a lot of the growing pains, and we've got good communication with them, so yep. that we can avoid some of the pitfalls that they experience. Right. But there still will be an adjustment period. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's no way around that. Um, other things to be aware of. As mentioned, uh, friends will have a table at uh, town meeting and David will make a pitch. Uh, with regards to the membership for people who want to join the friends, mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do is make a pitch. Uh, anyone who signs up uh, to become a friend and part of this group, uh, as long as they do so by the end of March, there's no charge for their first year of membership. <laughs> there you go. And then there's going to be an annual... Sounds like the town uh, meeting Very lunch good. deal. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. got Sounds something good. angle. He's always got an angle, angle David does. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Barbara came up with that idea. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, think and part of that, too, is because we haven't finalized what are all of the benefits one will experience by becoming one of these. Right, by the 1st of March? Right. Right. By, by the end, end of March. March. By the end of March. Okay, perfect. Yeah. 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 Town yeah. meeting will be a big push, but yeah. if people can't make it to town meeting, they can mm -hmm. go to the website that will be birthed next right. month and do it there, or they can come here and request one so of the So people can go to this website and request to use the town call for an event on a specific date and time and we're going to need the kitchen area and then David will be getting back to folks first he'll check the town already already yeah already he'll check the town website right. to make sure there's no right. conflict but what and if it, what if a conflict comes up after <laughs> somebody's booked the town hall for an event but then we find out we need it for some yeah, they book town committee meeting in 
Oh. You know, then what? That's going to cause a problem if, like, the Conservation Commission wants to use it on a specific oh. evening, but they're rehearsing a play upstairs and it's really loud because they've reserved the room to do this rehearsal. I wonder if there would be... Is there a way to... Well, and... Hmm. It wouldn't would, seem fair to, like, if they got it first. Right, but I was thinking the same thing. You know, hmm. we... I don't know how far out the town books its meetings, but we might have... The, the group, the friends might consider a, um, a, de a what am I talking not a deadline, but Drop a... Drop dead? Hmm? Drop dead date? No, like, you can book... Um, a maximum amount of you can, weeks in advance. Yeah, you can, you can book no more, the, the private room The trouble with that is, though, if somebody plays. wants to book a wedding, or, or plays, plays, or something like that, that's not going to... No, exactly. But work. but that question is gonna it, that is right. You I know. mean, if somebody's uh, like the it's concert. two upon what days of the week mm -hmm. that we're yeah. looking at yeah. as well. But right. most as I and recall, there's meet. something in the Plainfield agreement. That would be good to know. So I'll make a point. Yeah. Of, Maybe bookings beyond a certain number of weeks need to be approved by the select board, and then we get blamed. Mm, yeah. you know, so if they're going to do a play, and they say we're, the play is, play is going to be the first two weeks in August, and, then, and we need to know in March, mm -hmm. we could do that, and then it'll be on us to try to make sure the town meetings don't get scheduled, and we get the word out in advance of the approval. Then we get, then we approve it. Right. Sometimes, um, when everyone's had fair notice, then if the conservation commission wants to bring in Louis Leakey's grandson, then they're going to have to do it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, it has it's to be fair to everybody. It has to be fair to, to these it. people that mm -hmm. book it ahead of time because they're being responsible mm -hmm. and booking it ahead of time because right. they're going to have a wedding. And then the rehearsal is the same night that the Conservation Commission is meeting downstairs. Right. You know, it's just, I don't know how you, I don't know how you deal with that. Maybe you deal with it as it happens. I yeah, don't know. It's, it's a, a fair question. We should see if, you know, I'm sure it's come up before with Plainfield so Probably. we can see what they, what they put into place. Um, I seem to recall that there was something in their agreement. Yeah. But, uh, do they, do they have town that? functions in that town also in Plainfield? I was wondering about that too, yeah. They do from yeah. time to time. I've been it's there not this as time. big an issue. For, for us, them. it could be a real, I mean, I do think. It could be a bigger issue. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a days of the week and, and holiday, maybe on the weekends and mm. federal holidays. That's right, weekends. Um, but we meet on federal holidays if we're meeting there. But that would be a place where I would say, well, right. that's on us. Yeah. You know, oh well. Right. But I think, you know, mm -hmm. like I said, if somebody's responsible and they're scheduling a play with rehearsals and two you know, two oh, weeks right. before rehearsals. somebody need two weeks before somebody needs to hold a meeting <clears throat> place because you have to warn a meeting or even a week, oh, we want to use the town hall because the town mm -hmm. office is booked. Well, Right, I don't no, have any maybe, sympathy for that. that no. Maybe you waited till the last minute. Probably. But yeah. regular schedule, yeah. like we should be able to regu put our regular schedule on the town calendar a, a year a year in advance, mm -hmm. and private functions, except for weekends and holidays, can't be booked any more than six months in advance or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Something like that. But I well, let me just follow up with John's comment. I would I would hope that we'd be really conservative about having to inject the select board. It seems like something that we ought to be able to leave to the friends to figure out the rules, make sure the rules are really clear and transparent. Mm -hmm. um, I can see mm -hmm. us, I can see a time for us to get involved is when it's a board or committee or commission of one of the town functions and then there's a, there's a, a, a problem that keeps happening. Yeah. And we have to right, right. Figure, around the, we have, right, we have to figure. We have, we have to help figure that out. But around the rules and the right. policy and whether it's right. working well, and not, we, not making we cases. Like so we can set out the expectations and, like you say, right. in advance, and then they have to go and check in with the various commissions. Right. Well, that'll be a sure. function of the um, part of the function of the uh, management agreement. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, maybe better than that. Right, that there's bugs that we need to get worked out. Work yeah. And some of them won't even some of the bugs won't even be apparent until we start using it. Right. You know? Yeah, so. right, good point. Can't think of everything. We're not gonna book three years in advance, right? No. We'll have one test a year and we'll see. Yeah. 
that, right? Sure. A few other quick points to be aware of um, because there will be this big push at town meeting to make people aware of this newly formed group and um, encourage, uh, start encouraging fundraising efforts mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, the Friends Group will be meeting uh, weekly and up until uh, town meeting. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. We are working with uh, Bob Hannon to create a logo that we can put oh, on cool. some collateral materials that will appear at the table that mm -hmm. they'll have at the uh, town meeting. Um, you already heard about how the town lunch is being handled. Mm -hmm. I um, guess I thought they weren't going to do potluck the last I had heard, but they must have gone I back to that. I think it became necessity because of all of the other things mm -hmm. that were going on around that. It just was yep. decided that would be the easy, easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah. Um, no, I think that's, that's it. it. If there's anything else, I'll, uh, I'll shoot a quick email. But that yeah. was the, the gist of what we discussed uh, last meeting. Sounds good. Oh, no, there was one other thing. Um, the question came up, I know we're putting money in the budget. How do we imagine our part of what would be necessary in janitorial services for maintaining, you know, you mean, just like we do here, we have well, we the crew that comes in. Right, we have the, the crew that comes in, it was anticipated that, that we would ask them to also clean mm -hmm. the town hall, I think the lower section, and I think we talked about, even at a town hall committee meeting, that when the upstairs starts getting used for private events, we're going to have to have some kind of a way to get the town to get reimbursed, either yeah. by having the person who currently does the cleaning do it, or if they're going to hire their own people to clean. Or yeah, give them the number. And those folks that, they get that's going to right. be included in the rental agreement mm -hmm. that's already agreed upon with that one. But it was just a question of curiosity what is the town's plan for? Right, because if there's a play over there, people are going to go downstairs to use the restrooms. And we'll encourage additional but if there's a if the if the cleaners are going to come every periodically, or, or yeah, but it doesn't matter. Gonna, that doesn't, that part you doesn't know, matter. the toilets get a little bit of extra use, right. in evidence, and they're still swishing around a brush. It's right. still the same work effort. And you know, I would imagine. I think if there's a big event, is the yeah, that issue clean it on yeah. out, off cycle, Cliff? Yeah. When you say it'll be in the agreement, is it? Is the agreement going to require covering cleaning fees? Period. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like or check here if you want to clean it yourself. That I hope hasn't not. been decided yet. I hope not. I, 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 I check weigh here. in and say hope not. Okay. Right. I check here because we're going to clean it ourselves. That probably isn't going to happen. No. Thank you. The the the, the context this question came up in is. Whatever we ultimately decide upon how this is going to be handled as part of this agreement, mm -hmm. somebody has to sign off on it say, yeah, they cleaned it to our satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, here's your cleaning deposit back or the appropriate right. amount mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. no, um, no. And that would most likely be whoever we have doing the regular janitorial services mm -hmm. there. And say, oh, you know what? They didn't put it back like it was. They left a big mess over here. Yeah. Well, I think some of that is, right, it's going to be trial and error too, because it's going to depend on the group. You know, if somebody's using the upstairs, and then they're also going to have, you know, light fare downstairs in the kitchen. You know, did they clean up the kitchen? You know, right. is there stuff all over the counters and, and they, the stove didn't get wiped down? Those and kinds not of take things. Take the garbage out. Right. And they left it, whatever. It, yeah. Um, so those are all bugs that have to get worked. Okay, out. so this is not that I anticipate this, and not that any of these folks involved would commit this, but I'm thinking about damage. So I just thought about this idea. Mm -hmm. So there's an elevator and people are doing play practice and the kids are going up and down the elevator. Mm -hmm. Oh, on it. And they break the elevator. Oh, dear. 
See, they're not supposed to be using or, the elevator. It's yeah. only supposed to be for handicap. No, I'm just saying. I know right, that, I know, but, but, but no, that the kids shouldn't be playing it. I'm just saying this is under, that, that might not be the right scenario. Something gets broken. How does that? Well, well I, once again, I think it's going to come down to what these agreements look like because there is the whole question of insurance when mm -hmm. a special event occurs there. Somebody flushes diapers down the toilet bowl, which is not unusual and we have to call rotor rooter in or go and service the septic system and the, the, who eats that the friends group isn't far enough along that process yeah that we that i could answer these questions yeah. for you but i can tell you i'm putting them on they your, are coming up and they are to add to your list yeah. yep we've got a, yeah, a things to think about uh, list yeah. and these kind of considerations are on there I, mean, I don't want us to be so wrapped up in and, every, and every red tape, and but also this one, I just want to make sure we just kind of at least thought about it. You know? Well, and it would be good to know if we don't already know the answer. How does this affect our current insurance? You know, our our insurance well, that needs passive, to be passive. I think out. that somebody on the friends may want to talk to either Sandra or Kelly Avery or Kelly um, Avery. Smith. What's his name? Smith. Larry. Larry, Larry Smith. We asked those questions when they were here. Right, and I don't remember the answers, and I don't think we were far enough along to really kind of push it. No, but it's, we're getting that it's close. A, well, and now it's it's a separate nonprofit, separate from the town that's organizing these right. things. That may create They may have to get their own division. insurance. <clears throat> and they might have to, whoever's having the event might have to have proof of some kind right. of insurance. And what's the membership fee right now anticipated to be? Because it may not be enough covering insurance if, you, if need be or whatever else? The, the membership would be, we haven't decided upon an amount. Uh, if we go with the playing field model, it would be a suggested donation of $25 yeah. a year. Um, a year. Yeah. But you're But that's just to, community. That's that's not, that doesn't have anything to do with insurance. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But I'm just yeah. thinking for something just to put on the friend's radar is they might want to check and see how does the town's insurance cover it? Is it going to be more costly to the town if that's the case? Is our rate going to go up? Or can and by they, how much? And by how much? And, and, and the sh needs to be. do yeah. they, as a 501c3, have, can they be part of the, on the town's? I mean, I think there's a lot of insurance questions. Yeah, yeah I can tell you from the limited discussions that we have that um, this is on our radar and that. Um, likely we will have to have some kind of policy that's extant to what we already have and that the fees that we charge for the rentals will be designed to cover that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, any other One other thing on, because you mentioned the things to think about. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have to start thinking about having a grand opening. Mm -hmm. We are. And of the downstairs. Um, yeah. The whole thing. Pretty, pretty well, the upstairs, the are there safety bars on those windows yet? Um, upstairs. I don't think so. We, we won't have the we certificate of occupancy until all safety requirements are Okay. Met. Upstairs, too. Upstairs, too. Okay. The whole okay. I think they, re they look at the whole building for okay. the certificate of occupancy. Okay. That's what's supposed to happen, is they're supposed to come okay. over and start looking at that and. Mm -hmm. um, also to get this, uh, uh, the grant that was mentioned earlier, the monies that were anticipated oh, the there, there's a lot of, that has to be looked at again. Mm -hmm. um, so that's ongoing. Uh, but the question around the grand opening is, it feels like this is probably going to be something that's orchestrated in concert between the Friends Group and the Select Board. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Just to put it on everybody's radar, unless the select board decides, no, we totally want to orchestrate the grand opening. And no. Uh, no, we need help. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that would be the case, but I promised help. everyone I would verify with the I would the like to be involved there would be, in that planning. Would be in concert. It could be, um, we don't have to decide what it is right now, but we want to be involved. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, your friends will come up with some ideas, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, one of the select board meetings, the group will come in with the yeah, I like that elected representative. Can you, can you add to the list the um, artist open house weekend that's usually Memorial Day weekend? 
Yellow. On the end of end of May. Those oh yeah, all those yellow signs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That might be a good weekend to do it. And people are out and about, and weather's nice. The roads aren't muddy. Hopefully. Well, they may or they may not be, but it's a time when people yes, are. There's a lot of um, publicity, and mm -hmm. so you know people are all. Does that when they have? Do they have the Kent open then for the art? I don't event? know, but we might even with because the, that would be a good time to do it all together. With the renovation and the artistry angle, we may even be able to get on the. The local Central Vermont mm -hmm. artist tour, tour, yeah, mm -hmm. be on their yeah. posters. Yeah, because I think that's when the Kent also has a. Because mm -hmm. um, I've been there when they've done it. Because it's not, it's usually not real warm out. So right, it's, it's, it's one of those weekends when sort of in between. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you if we could plan it when it's other stuff going on, we'd get more participation. And it wouldn't be, we wouldn't have to have the party. Right. Okay. okay. Anything well, else? Was we had the whole discussion about the school tax, and we did said they actually requested. They sort they of were, did. They were evaluating. Few, right, and we had the discussion. Let's wait and see what happens after this legislative and Janet session. Was good. So, so Representative Ansel was um, going to introduce a bill mm -hmm. to you know, allow the exemption to be maintained on that property, but I guess she must have consulted with the tax department. Right. Well, she used to be parallel. She was tax commissioner. Yeah, she was tax commissioner. So, um, I just want to, I, I just wanted to be assured by Chris that this wasn't a political thing. That it would be, we'd be secure in that opinion going right. forward, no matter who was at the helm. And well, that's good news. Tax tomorrow. So mm -hmm. he he was pretty confident that it was consistent with. The right. But we do need to document. make sure we get a. But we want to get that guidance yeah. document yeah. and we attach to that opinion. We want all the records that oh, yeah. he has seen. So. The FOIA, whoever would pursue that. Um, it would, yeah, that's true. Lester's well, probably, yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's good news. We don't yeah. have to make that wow, decision. It's, it's a, yeah, it's wonderful. News. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So Where we were was um, looking at budgeted expenses um, and what the tax rate estimated tax rate would be on just those budgeted expenses. The next line talks about raising taxes with the articles that are proposed in the warning. And so that would raise the amount of uh, expenses $146,000. And the tax rate would go up accordingly. So in 2019... Can you say, can you say that again? Where do we see, see the hundred? Well, if you just put them yeah. like that. When you add up your articles, mm -hmm. they add up to $146,375. Oh, yeah. So that, therefore that raises the, if all are voted up, that raises the expenses by that mm -hmm. amount. And it also raises the tax rate. So what you have um, at the bottom, it says in 2019, your property tax uh, if you have a property assessed at $200,000 on the grand list, in 2019, your property tax was $5,065. Mm -hmm. In 2020, the estimated tax rate based uh, strictly on our budgeted expenses is $5,112. And that includes the school portion? Correct. And, uh, but with the addition of the articles, mm -hmm. it's $5,258. So for every $200,000 of assessed value, if all the articles are voted up, the um, tax obligation on that part still would go up by $145. And 61 cents. That's the difference between 5258 and 5112? Yes. It's rounded, and that's for every two hundred thousand. Correct. Which is a two point eight percent increase over 
the, oh wait a minute, no. It's a 2.8% increase over what we, no, never mind. Uh, no, it's, so I'm gonna go, in 2019 your property tax would have been, that, that's what we want, right? 5065 divided by the 2.62 number, 5258. Right. That's more like 4%. And if all of those things don't get passed, it's 3.8 percent, and that's but that's because it includes some of those. It well includes the the, special, the stuff that's on the warning. <coughs> it includes school, right? And it, yeah, because our overall budget increase was like 2.96. Well, that's your budgeted expenses. Right. Increase. That's this. Right. right. But your articles are not in that. No, your, they're not. You, your articles could be voted up or down right. or modified. They, it's, they the, actually were. Sandra, when we did the math, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back though because the chipper was the chipper came in later and the Beamer's math was slightly yeah, thing. but yeah we did what we did is took out all the emergency related and then but we added in the townish stuff like social services all the social services and no 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 no, 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 that that out. What no we, i thought no we, no it didn't include it did not include any of the war no items. emergency no it did we included the town hall painting the chipper I think so. yeah we did mm -hmm. definitely do yeah we did yeah yeah, yeah we, we, i didn't think we did okay. no we did the server we put in like the stuff that's town mm -hmm. stuff that you know we are choosing as a select board mm -hmm. that we did this for the town so the server, yes, was in, the painting was in, the chipper. The chipper, I think, was in in the end. Um, but social services, we, I can't remember. I think it was out. The social services is out. Separately. We put those out, the yes. cemetery was out, and all the emergency stuff was out. Yeah. Anyway, this is, this is the whole package. Well, it is the whole package. Yeah. It includes mm -hmm. an increased um, education tax. Right. Right. So that's the big one. Right, and yeah. we don't have that broken down but it would be nice to know what the mm. education piece is I well, mean not I mean you can't do it for the town report but just so we know do you mean you, what your education the influence mm -hmm. like, the like influence, what, what percentage is the education tax compared to like what it was oh yeah I can year. figure that out for you yeah mm -hmm. because you know we have to look at the whole picture we're well, talking, you wouldn't have to people or people. Right, but you wouldn't have had the whole picture when you were budgeting. No, no, no. We barely got that number in time right. to go to print. Right, yeah, right. no, I remember that. Yeah. But it'd be good for us to know. Right. When we yeah. say, yeah, when we say 3%, we are definitely not talking about education. No, no. no. But it would be nice to, to know, you know, not to blame anybody, but just to know what that percentage increase is for our new mm -hmm. combined district with the debt we've taken on it would be good for people it would be good for us to have those figures to be able to talk to people about when we're talking 2.96 percent increase in town stuff but then if you look at the school mm -hmm. you know what percentage well, and we, is yeah, that we can't offset no we can't offset all of the education increases and take them out of the town budget no we can't um, and it, it just is what it is, but it, I think it will make people maybe pay attention to, in case there's future legislation to make any changes or. Mm -hmm. Well, we did whatever. that when we sent our tax bills last year. Yeah. We'll just. Yeah, maybe, maybe just yeah. having a, another sheet. The school stuff would be Could helpful. Do that. Okay. Sure. Great. Anything else? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else for me? I, I don't have anything, anything, anything else for us. I'm sure you'd like Thank to leave. You, <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank so you. we'll Thank meet you. again on the 24th. 24th. Right. You can, uh, I think, tuck me deeper into the, um, if you put me on at 730, that would probably be fine. My daughter, they, oh, they okay. have a state meet. It is... I think it's at the Grange on that Monday, the 24th. 
before our meeting? Or? It will be during the day sometime, oh, okay. and I imagine I won't get, I, I will go, she is at, she, she has is, asked me to go to that. Is that, is school off that week? Mm. When does school School's on? off the week of the 24th, that's a Monday. Yeah, huh. isn't it? That's, yeah. that's February vacation. Right, huh. and it goes through town meeting. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, anyway, they That's have right. the second half of the state meet. It is the mm -hmm. skate half. So that means it should go off early in the day. I'll find out what that mm -hmm. is. I was thinking it would be after school, but since school is off, it, it should be, be maybe at 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I wouldn't want to have to be on the schedule at 8 o'clock. <laughs> well, just let, let me I'll know. I'll let you know. Yeah, let me know. We'll know soon enough. Time. Um, so we can try to, you know, get you on whatever works best for you. I, and somewhere, like, I would think somewhere between 7 and 7.30. Okay. But however it goes, whoever else you have ahead, it should be fine. All righty. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm late. Time to start today. Oh, I, st I started late because I knew oh, I'd good. be here, okay. and I just so you need couldn't to do put that. I yeah. couldn't put two words together if I came in at Thank eight you. thirty or nine. Thanks for doing that. Thanks, Thanks to both. Thank you. Yeah. Um, all right, local hazard mitigation and planning team. I remember when they came and talked to us, and they wanted us to put together this team oh, of yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Um, planning team, the core group responsible for making decisions, guiding the planning process, and agreeing upon the final contents of the plan. The, really the final, everything the final. Plan? The local hazard mitigation Oh, hazard, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't, that group really doesn't have any authority to approve anything. That has to come from the board. So we need to be clear about that right up front. Um, I don't know how many people Individual stakeholders, individuals, or groups that affect or can be affected by a mitigation action or policy. Um, and this is their kind of their guide to you know who you might consider. And I can't remember we've had this before, and it's been usually like um, the road commissioner or Toby, somebody from conservation, somebody from planning. <coughs> um, I don't know what somebody from the school district would actually do or how that would be beneficial, but um, does anybody have any thoughts on, I can check with planning, conservation, we can ask Toby to represent um, for rogues. Mm -hmm. Maybe school is is this a sort of emergency planning thing? No, it's not. No. This is different. This is different than that. Okay. Um, I guess if you had a hazard that required an evacuation of a set area, mm -hmm. then the school resources would be something we would tap into. Yeah, we could see That's if maybe. Probably um, why it's on the we could see, I could check with Cat Fair and see if she's got somebody, a school person. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm willing to serve if you want me to on the, on the representing the select board. And just as all you do is really is you go to a few meetings and then they do a report and then it comes back to the board. You have a bad report. Yeah, that's where I am too. I mean, we've got big fish that we're trying to fry. Oh, yes, of course we are. Yeah, I don't imagine this is going to start until, how could I forget that? I don't imagine this is going to start until probably April or May. Hopefully mm -hmm. we would be done with that by then. Mm -hmm. I think, the one, yeah, the one thing, just to follow up with, with a close comment, is, you know, it, you're the chair. It shouldn't necessarily be the chair of any particular group. And if you have all the chairs of all the groups, then it's you know it's just more and more and more on, on the same people's shoulders. So if if you know not the chair from one of those other groups 
Yeah. So, so that your participation actually is going to meet. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Usually somebody from the regional planning commission kind of heads up the, heads up the, the group mm -hmm. and puts stuff oh, together. Or, right, they said they, 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 they send they would staff them. Right, right. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I'm not sure, I guess I gotta go back and look. I'm not sure by when they want this. I might also ask, no, I already asked um, Nick, Emlyn, because I happen to see him in the co-op, um, because it says somebody that deals with the emergency management stuff, and he's kind of been our person that's helped to develop the emergency management plans, and that's it, but he's not available. So. How about, but did we have to point somebody here to work with him, Elizabeth? Well, um, O'Casey? Elizabeth O'Casey, yeah, because she's communications. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's the one in uh, Maple Corner. Mm -hmm. But I gotta go back and check their stuff because I'm not sure when they want names by. They said, but I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I can go look. And that will help with that. There was something about like June. You know what we don't have? We don't have a recreation commission. Other towns have one. We have a private association. But that's totally different because that's the ball field and all that stuff is owned by mm -hmm. that um, organization. Hmm. Anyway, it's just something I do. What else? Yeah. All right. Next. Cliff. Okay. Um, first off, uh, IT update. We have, uh, on last Thursday, Judy and I met with Ruben for the office and uh, we signed the new agreements and they will become effective as of the beginning of March. We won't have to go through that 60 day threshold, so we will start saving money that quickly. Yeah. They Excellent. have already begun the process of updating our, our backup. Um, in a moment is, that too that, soon. is that that sort of thing? Yeah. And uh, that was not a moment too soon because it was uh, the week prior to us meeting, the week before last, in other words, it was. Sir, sure. and say no, no, no. Oh. The, the backup device, not the server. There's a cloud. There's a device that sits under the table over there. Oh, a mechanical and, device, an additional one. Exactly. And so the new system is uh, much more efficient and will give us that cloud-based, full cloud-based backup as well. So yeah, because they moved the stuff over to the cloud-based backup, mm -hmm. and what you're saying is it was good timing because. Yeah, because well, we were backing up some here, you're saying, yeah. and then backing to the server. Yeah, was and it then in it, between pieces. What did it fail? It, it was just getting overloaded. Too much. How time. many terabyte was that? I am not sure. I can find out, but just curious. Um, at any rate, the timing was very fortuitous. So um, that's underway. Um, getting very good feedback from the office staff in terms of how their issues when they faster? arise and yes everything's everybody's faster? everybody's Good. being responsive and they're getting what they need um, in terms of the support so it was thumbs up all the way around on that um, that kind of will segue into the next thing I need to bring up um, with regards to replacing the server this is something we know we have to do uh, hopefully, in the morning article gets approved, and um, then we can take advantage of the loan. But if we don't get an approved loan, um, oh. then we will have to find the money in our budget. Why wouldn't we? But you mean if it weren't approved? If, it were if we weren't approved, authorized to get the loan. If the right. loan is not approved by the town. Because it's on the yes. morning. Yes, okay. Yeah. So, the issue that came up is they are getting, they being RV Tech, are getting backlogged on big projects. And this server upgrade qualifies as a big project. Mm -hmm. So we need to get onto their calendar. They understand that we're looking to get a loan and that we have to wait, I think it's 30 days after yeah. town meeting before we can lock in right. the uh, loan, assuming it's approved. 
but if we can agree tonight as a board that we are intending to replace this server, regardless of the vote, they will put us on their independent calendar so that this can happen as soon as the new fiscal year kicks in the year. Yeah. Well, I don't think we have a choice. I mean, the server's kind of already has its projected life. So we could find money elsewhere. We have to. Yeah. What okay. is it, what's the number we're going to have to find if we have to? 18,000. 18, and again, the law is anytime we obligate ourselves a loan. to a loan, a no loan. matter what the size, is there a size trigger for that? I don't, it doesn't sound hmm. like it. Because remember, we were going to just get the chipper, and then we found out right. because it's a loan, right. we have to go to the voters, that's why we put it in the morning. Right. And I was confused about that, I yeah. thought. Uh, a loan for uh, longer than a year. Longer than a year. Oh, it's a term that you're not about. Um, yes. Not a dollar amount. Right. So, so we got, got, so beyond got the loan. fiscal year. Correct. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So, okay. in other words, we need a, we need a kind of a, a, a straw consensus that we, it's Basically, our intent. Yeah, we want yeah. to put a motion and vote on it so that so, so we can say to RV Tech, the board, the board approved. has approved this, so it's just now a matter of lining up the financing, and we want to be able to pull the trigger as soon as the new fiscal year starts. So why don't you make a motion? So get us on to your schedule, please. So is that your motion? I make a motion that uh, we as a board approve the purchase of a replacement server. Yes. Okay, second. I'll second that. Yeah, so All there in favor? Discussion. Uh, discussion. Just I would like it clarified that we're gonna purchase it. We're is it after it's in the new fiscal year, right? Yes. 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 So I think adding that to the motion. Yes. Oh, good clarity. I'll accept the friendly amendment. amendment. Me too. All right. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Okay, good. So you'll get you'll let RB Tech know. Yes. Okay. You want to do town hall things? Yep. So while he's making a note, did anybody have any um, calls about the storm on Friday? I didn't have any calls. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any postings on front porch forum. Um, I know the guys were out. Does anybody have any? No. Hear no. Any issues? No okay. Well, schools right. were closed. So right. So that it wasn't a bus issue. That helps. I okay. did um, speak with a resident on Friday morning, and I know that. Night, Sandra. Night, Sandra. Thank you. Thank the you. Valentine Road was not. The truck was entering Valentine Road at quarter to eight. Mm -hmm. which despite school not being in session, that was really late given the mm -hmm. storm. So we had one guy out sick, right? Right, we did have one guy out sick. But all trucks were functioning. As far as I know, but we said they were all up and running. So that's, I wonder that's if pretty he, late. Yeah, I wonder what his decision-making process was in that, knowing school was canceled ahead, but that didn't mean people didn't have to still get, to get out and get to work. So this, this individual was not complaining? But mm -hmm. I was pulling. This individual said that, that they were coming down the hill, mm -hmm. that you know that little alleyway beyond Peter, by Bruss. the north side of Peter Bruff's road there, where mm -hmm. it comes down. Mm -hmm. It's very narrow. It's like incised and hills on both sides, and it's and there's nothing we can do to widen it. It's just the way the topography is, but. This individual said they were coming down, and it was scary. The truck was coming up from Route 14 mm. um, with a load of sand on, and it was not. Yeah, and it was like, truck? yeah, and it was like everything went well. But another driver, a less competent driver, might have hit the brakes and hit the truck head right. on. So I, I just, I want. I was w wondering why that truck was running so late mm -hmm. with the and that sand. That Valentine Road is right near the town. Gosh. Yeah, so I, I don't understand it. So is it due to a lack of staffing, mm -hmm. full staffing, That's a or was, with one over. person out? Did that was it the staffing fully covered with our temporaries? Friday. So Friday, Friday morning. So if, I think that probably that individual there was one still out sick. But so we're supposed really, to have coverage right. by our so temporaries. So the question would be, 
did we have that extra person covering, or at right. least one extra person And if person we covering? did, and if we did, then the next question is, why was that truck running so late mm -hmm. when we knew that was a major storm coming? Was it because the snow was so heavy, the trucks ran low, mm -hmm. did they have to go back and get more loads of sand? I just, mm -hmm. I think that's, this was a good test. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I mean, I didn't get any complaints, but I did, I did notice that, um, and I have four-wheel drive. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but I'm paying attention now because mm -hmm. I'm always wondering, am I going to get a complaint? And I don't think our, it seems like our road didn't get <coughs> plowed that's until, that, this is Thursday morning, well, it's Thursday. just before nine. We had snow on Thursday as well. Absolutely. Yeah, not as much snow on Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the schools I, were closed Thursday too. The schools they? were the schools were closed Thursday and Friday. Yeah. And it it, it I think I'm really disappointed Toby's not here because yeah, it, I don't know why here. it because I think the opportunity for us is to both understand the challenges that we have, right, right. but then that really, helps us. but then really clearly communicate them, like even possibly to a micro level, like if. If it's, you know, this is a lot, perhaps a longer term goal, but if it's the, you know, the Tucker Road loop driver who's out, can we just be a little more transparent mm -hmm. about those kinds of things? So well, I think we're really, we're really paying attention. I think Toby's aware of that. So keeping that one as a question to ask Toby next meeting, mm -hmm. or even sending an email and See, the problem is the, the longer this goes, so right. the memory fades quickly. And well, do up, do, up an, do, up an, do up an email and send it to Toby and CC us, because I'd like to know what the answer is, too. Yeah, and I'll ask my question, too. Because I was looking at the warrants, um, and I don't think the warrant, I can't remember now if the warrant for this week's pay is in there, but there's several, couple of weeks there where there really wasn't much overtime. And right. then... You know, because it's kind of storm based, and then we have, you know, the three guys, and then we have the two fill ins, and those are a set rate, and they don't get benefits. No, those fill ins, help me here. That's Ed those Rell. Fill, no, I know who they are, but oh. they come in, they cover when we're missing a guy, or they, <coughs> they drive the, the extra truck in the storm. Both. They're covering Alfred right now. So they're covering, one's covering Alfred. They are covering, I, I, they, they are they covering, are covering they're, they're Alfred. And I know Toby said that when there's going to be a big storm, like we had Friday, which would have been a perfect time for him to have the five trucks out. Right. Mm -hmm. right. With the, you know, the additional two um, right. temporary drivers, and that would... Right. Yeah. It just didn't make sense, and I wonder if, because the schools are closed, right. do they come in later? Very good question. Like, because they were out early this morning, mm -hmm. really early. Like earlier than I'm, I'm used to them being, so that yeah. was, that was good. Um, but, um, yeah, no, it's a really good question. I don't understand. Why on Friday? From a quarter to eight, commuters are gone. Yeah, they're they're in their office with their coffee on their quarter desk. Quarter to eight. A quarter to eight, the truck was coming up to sand. To sand, and if you work for state government, you got to be there at quarter of eight, and then they let you go home at right. noon. So, so commuters should be able to leave at six or six thirty. Yeah. Say six thirty. And know that road's going to be sanded, is that especially a, that dangerous section there. Is that? Do we consider that a main artery road? No. You know, but it's no. dangerous. Yeah. No, that's a very good question. I think. That I mean, we need to keep if there wasn't a truck, you could conceivably come. Well, I guess it flattens at the bottom, but Route 14 is at the bottom. Yeah, of the road. and that mm -hmm. if you slide you into know, Route 14, who knows what you're going to run into? Yeah. Well. Oh. Yeah. Likely a tractor trailer. It's going to hit you sideways. MBI. MBI. That's right. Or it's a really good question, and I think we should ask sure. Toby. I think we're okay. really staying on top of this. I think it's going to be really helpful. It might be annoying to the road people right now that we're asking all these questions, but I think, like when Toby told us the truck, two trucks were broken down. Well, hello, that makes a big difference when we get calls to say, you know, we didn't, we have drivers, but not trucks, or we have trucks and we don't have drivers. You know, I, I tell you, I, I'm a little bit obsessed with that stretch there, and I. I went and looked at it after they did all that ditch work, remember, that we had oh, yeah. questions, yeah. and yeah. I really feel like, what's the crossroad that fit, uh, Bruff's on? Mm -hmm. What's the name of that? I don't know. Um, Baton? Baton Road. Mm -hmm. I really feel like from Baton Road to 14, we should make that one way. I do not enter going down the hill, because mm -hmm. folks can always- On the always, rough side of it? On the, between 14 and the Bruff Road. 
because bruffs they're kind of at the height of right, it. come down and you could escape up the bruffo because they kind of. Mm -hmm. But I really feel like that's if that were one way, stuff, right? then it's not a question of a head on, mm -hmm. and you know they can always go out through the village no. through through South Woodbury Village. Right, and this leads me to safer. the. I'm sorry, because you were supposed to talk about friends, but um, you saw the update we got from the UVM. John Lenz, the press of Lenz, about the not. road study? I, I did not read it all. I saw I, it. Oh, okay. I did. I did, I did, I did got it. I, I asked it. him about some kind of way it was, to... It was in spring. Right? That's yeah, what early spring, it sounds like. Yeah. But I really think we need to be looking at, and one of our buddies will be very happy if we could figure out a way for people to have something. They can go on the town website. They can sign up for an app, something where you can see the truck came by at six, you know, it's snowing right, three inches, GPS three inches of GPS, yeah. something like that, which would be able to answer part of your question was, mm -hmm. was this the first time around or had they been around? Oh, that's, that that's a good question, question that too. Maybe question. that might be. That was yeah. my question too, is, is, because it, that close to the town garage, maybe it was, you know, maybe they started at Three or three thirty, like Toby says, he has them called in. Mm -hmm. If it was about eight, and let's say he was running five trucks, that would be about right that it was the second time around. Mm -hmm. So that might be the answer. That might be the well, answer, yeah. But yeah. but it'd be nice to know that, I have right? Some yeah. Information with regards to that subject as well. Um, there's numerous possible solutions out there. Good. One of them is a device that uh, plugs into one of the. Uh, uh, inlets on the truck, uh, the smart device, they cost about 40 bucks a pop. It and plugs into what inlet? Uh, you know how your computer can be plugged in to do a diagnostic on the truck? Uh -huh. yep. there, oh, are multiple, thing, there are yeah. multiple ports in mm. newer vehicles for different accessories, smart accessories. and So they have these that work at GPS, mm -hmm. satellite <laughs> uh, driven. Uh, there are also a number of software solutions for um, managing and knowing where your um, vehicle force is and where it's deployed well, it, to and whatnot. It sounded like they were, the, did you read that email? Mm -hmm. It sounded like they were going to be looking at some of that, right? Yeah, and that's probably what they're going to be looking at. The other thing that I found out is mm -hmm. that, do you remember uh, they were telling us that if there's a, a service alert pops up on one of the vehicles, Toby usually knows about it before they do right. because it yeah. all goes to his yeah. phone. Right, right, right. Well, That's Verizon right. also offers mm -hmm. an app that allows you to track where the vehicles are. Well, you know, I know the guys don't necessarily like it, and I under, you know, I kind of understood it. it would feel kind of kind of weird to know that people are tracking you. But on the other hand, I think it would help to mm -hmm. educate the residents you know, if you're going to take the county road and they plowed it at 5 o'clock in the morning and you're going to be leaving at 10, mm -hmm. probably it's not going to be plowed again until 10.30. Yeah, I think, I mean, the real issue to me would be if we are imposing another duty mm -hmm. um, and creating, you know, creating another thing to do. No, this would just be automatically that this we would do just, it, right? Right, and I would think that that would be welcome because we mm -hmm. keep hearing from Toby um, and Alfred mm -hmm. and, and we we understand that they are you know there's a lot of demands and the guys work hard so having that being able to communicate it to the community at large right so you they know can see. Can facts they, is facts there you go yeah. and could they see it on could they could we have something on the town website for people to go and look because like for instance i don't have a smartphone so yeah, I don't have cell phone. I don't have cell phone. Anything you can do on a phone, you can but, generally do it on a website. Exactly. And it doesn't sound like it's that expensive. I don't think it is. And Toby may already have the app with this service alert mm -hmm. app that he's running. Yep. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think it's something we really need to. It could be a game changer. Right. It could be a huge piece of our response to the issues about roads. Okay, well here, now you can, yeah, you wonder, can see. I wonder if the truck, new trucks have a GPS position. It's very possible. It may that already be there, maybe Toby knows. Little, like the yeah. little pet thing that you yeah, comes, comes with the pet. 
<laughs> the pet, the little furry guy. You know, is no, that what they do now? No, when you get a when you get a pet at the shelter, it comes with a little chip, chip. in it. Yeah, yeah really? Or, or, it's already no. registered. No way. Well, well no, I have I have my dog's microchips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's you have. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks for letting us chat. See you at town meeting, if not before. Thanks, Gus. Thank you, Gus. Thank you. Any other words of wisdom? Hoping Gus runs on a post. You know, he may not make it. <laughs> be fine with me. <laughs> oh, well, come on. All right. So we knew Rose was not going to be here tonight. So it's just the four of us. All right, Rose is. Oh, she's in where it's nice and warm. I hope she's she 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 out there. I love this weather. I am not complaining. I love it. Where were they? Even when me too. I oh, That's I what I love. It those clear skies, that moon. It was just chills oh, was, up your back. It was yeah. so. Beautiful. It was beautiful. And then I zip my coat beautiful. up and it chills away. Right. But, <laughs> or then you go back in the house and look out the window. <laughs> that was great. I loved no, it. I was yeah. out in it all Thanks, day. Gus. See you guys. Orion. Thank you. Orion is out. When we go out and walk Betsy at night, you know, you go around that corner in Tucker Road, and Orion is just right. Oh, right there, right so awesome. Yes. I take my dogs out around 9 o'clock at night. My husband says it looks like the aliens have landed because I have these <laughs> flashing boxes oh, you on got them those now? and then a flashing belt yeah. thing Where do you me. get those? I see people it's, with um, them. Knox gear. I'll send you the website. Huh. It's cool. Yeah. And he goes, oh, no, it looks like the aliens have landed. So let's go <laughs> to meeting the order. Um, public comment for items not on the agenda. Additions or changes. Um, mm. I'm assuming Toby's coming. We kind of told him he needed to show up at every meeting. Um, so maybe he'll show up and he'll have to sit through the treasurer's report. Madam Treasurer. Are you back for me? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Boy, we might get out of here early tonight. We might. Because there's another thing that's going to be canceled. A what? There's one, there's one agenda item. I can just let you know right now while Sandra's getting ready. Um, the Greeter Grant Program, mm -hmm. um, they have decided um, not to apply for the Greeter Grant Program. It's wow. No kidding. It's just, it got way complicated. Yeah. You know, A&R yeah, yeah. cannot seem to get that app to oh, no. correctly to input okay. the data so the I kids were it. having to do these Excel spreadsheets and it was just, and the reporting requirements and Stuff have gotten more significant. They're short staff person, so there isn't a real good content person to ask for help or questions. So, anyways, they decided to nix it, which I think was a wise decision on their part this year. Mm -hmm. So, um, I did review. Did you do us hard copies? I didn't. They was just there. I, did, I read the memos. was about memos. forty-eight pages. Yeah, I read the memos that you sent both November and December, but I think unless there's a real need or a real desire to review Novembers, that's kind of old history, maybe we could just look at Decembers? Let's take a look at December. I think November is fairly remote. These reports, uh, the November report and actually the December report were delayed um, in large part uh, because we have one statement that comes in the middle of the month, so our reconciliations uh, just can't, at, at this point, haven't been able to take place until we'll after. Mm -hmm. That's the T. Rowe Price statement, mm -hmm. which I'm going to try and work with them to see why I can't get that online. They is just that, won't let me have it. Is that something moment. that is handled by the trustees that Rod could uh, check out for you? I'm, I'm on the account. Yeah, okay. I, I would just okay. reach out to them and, and see. It could just be a, a snag with the with the account because we are online. I can mm -hmm. see it, but I can't get a written statement. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. so that is that was delayed in November. We didn't get it till mid December and the office was our office was closed for four or five days and Nimric. Uh, our contact at Nimric was also on vacation, so right. we, so that was delayed, and this January they were short-handed. Someone retired, and someone took a full-time job. Hmm. So uh, they really just couldn't get to us. I think those two issues have been resolved, okay. and we should have reports much earlier now. Yeah. Um, 
So December reports, we look good. We have collected 71% of our budgeted revenues and uh, even and we're at 50% of our uh, fiscal year. So revenues look strong as of December. Our expenses are slightly over budget, but really not. We have a number of front-loaded expenses and um, we're just not on a budget that is equal every 12 months. So I think really we, I would recommend to the board that we start to scrutinize that budget and our expenditures in February and okay. see where we really are. There are, um, general government has, looks to be on track. Highway has a, a few expenditures that look over, but I think in the large scheme of things, we're going to be good and you might, we might want to talk to um, Toby about those. Yeah, I actually thought Toby was going to show up tonight, but I guess maybe he's not. Um, with yeah, the Roach Commissioner being on leave and we've got some fill-ins and stuff, I'm thinking that maybe we'll have some savings in the highway um, salary. Hard to tell yeah. at this point. But in March we might, or February, we might have a better feel for that. Better feel for that. When you say February, you mean looking at the February report? Yeah. 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 Well, because at that point, February, March, April, May, June, we are three quarters, or actually two thirds, of the way through the year, right. and and it's a good time to take a look and see if but we need to. We won't be able to look at February zone until sometime in March. Well, I can pull February. I think February it would be good whether we are reconciled or not to just so come in at the first uh, meeting in March and say where are we with our budget to expense picture. Okay, budget to expense. If that works for your. Oh wait, that's right before town meeting. No, that's right after town meeting. Um, is, oh, good. Then that so would work. Is there, can we, so, is there any way to do it at the, because I'm thinking the February 24th meeting, I really want us to focus and kind of go through the warning, see if we, you know, assign people to maybe talk about different things. Will we have enough budget of February by the 24th to, we should, to, to be able to do that, do you think? The goal would always be to have all expenditures posted by your last board meeting. I think that's so reasonable. Quick. So if I put you on for February 24th, yeah, I think that's a, reasonable. A budget update. Um, I think we should really look at it. I think it would be wise. And it would be helpful to do it right before town meeting, I think, so we can, there's questions about budget. Um, we have more insight into where we're at, you know, if we're on track. You know that kind of stuff. I think it would be really. I don't helpful. see anything alarming. I I don't. I just think that it would be a useful tool at mm -hmm. this juncture in the year to just okay. just take a look at things that maybe look a little bit high. So on so, balance to the rest of the budget. So Katie can put it on the mm -hmm. list for the twenty fourth select board time to review warning, all that stuff, and uh, a budget update from the treasurer. So I want to keep that meeting kind of open to some of that stuff, and hopefully there's another no other big issues that will surface right before town meeting. I was gonna. I I don't anticipate any big budget issues. So. Okay. All right. So let's carry on. So highway. Uh, we just Can highway go looks good. The office, the office is oh sure. So we came in well under budget for that. Yes, we did. The on, only ongoing expense is mm -hmm. the storage unit at $75 per month, but that is also helping us with uh, storing documents that need to be shredded, mm -hmm. as well as, I you think, out there, some right? election, there's right. still election materials and historical materials, so that, that's... And where are we with them coming up with a plan? Um, for the, for this... He has done some, today, actually today he submitted some final, um, very detailed, like electrical outlets and lighting and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think, and I don't know if he's going to submit one more bill, I don't think so, but he might. It might, there, there might, might be, be an, an additional bill just for that final detailed mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. um, and so 
when there's mental capacity <laughs> for you've had a lot on your plate. And well, so haven't you guys? With the uh, yeah. With so the when, when we can all take a deep breath and there's actually space to look at his designs without it competing with a lot of other agendas, then I think that would be the time to do it. To have him come in and maybe do a presentation. For the yeah, board. he could, or we, you could kind of do a preliminary look and develop questions, and then we could invite him in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a good plan. And the town hall, I know Donna submitted the paperwork to get us reimbursed for the CL, for the accessibility for the accessibility grant. I believe there uh, someone is coming out to take a look at that. I don't know exactly. Yeah, Lisa Ryan's coming out. I don't know what the amount is. I, I haven't. Thirty thousand. Is it thirty thousand? Yeah. So um, that number is going to look very different in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. Those accessibility grants, once um, there's an inspection, they turn around very quickly. At least that was my experience in Worcester. They did the same thing several years ago yeah. with their town hall and their lift, and that, what, that grant was um, very speedy in uh, sending a check out. Okay. So that's good. Yeah, and we're down to the nitty gritty of stuff on the Town hall, and then we can plan on. I, John came in today and said that they're very close to being able to set up the inspections they need for like fire, electrical, for that right. occupancy. And I think he's thinking the end of March right? for the certificate of occupancy. Yeah. So we got the heat exchanger. Um, no, we, we decided, remember, we decided not to do that because we didn't have the money. What? For a heat, you know, that heat, ex you talk about that thing. Let the cold the air, air, air in and out. Yeah, we, I, we didn't have that place needs ventilation. It's bad in there. Have not you been in you there? Said, no, not since you said that. It, you know, because it's got no ventilation and it. It, all, it smells like fumes. It smells really bad. I wonder if after a while. I mean, in the summer, if they air it out or something. But I thought there was a, a code requirement to have that. I don't think so. We can double check oh, with John. Okay. We double check okay. on, but right. um, that was one of the things that we knew we wanted to get at some point. Because I'm just looking at minutes today before I came, uh, sure. and um, there wasn't money enough to buy it unless we want to take it, it out. It was only 1,500 bucks or something. Okay. I thought it was 1,100. Maybe no. we're talking about two different things. The air-to-air -air heat exchanger. I thought it was only 1,500 bucks. We can double check with John. Because if it's really that bad in there, we may want to do something sooner rather than later. Oh, something needs to ventilate that place. Because I've already had... It's not healthy. I've already had groups ask if they can start using it for meetings, and I don't really think we can until we have the certificate of occupancy. Got the key. Oh, we know where the key is. Go and snip it on the way out. Is it bad? Um, I haven't experienced what John experienced um, in the times I've been in there, but I could understand why it would be an issue having done the models myself. And middle of winter and closed spaces. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, you're correct. Until we have a certificate of occupancy, we really shouldn't be having a meeting right. with the agents there. There's so, and that's not to the end of the Yeah. Right. Because yep. right, if somebody gets hurt, our insurance doesn't won't cover it. So that's not good. And then when <coughs> we do have, the, that's one of the things that the friends are going to do, right, is manage the the calendar for the yeah. public oh, yeah. use space, the performing okay. space. Yeah, I'll talk um, to about that. Yeah, okay. going to give us an update later. Okay. So let's get through Sandra's report. But so the report that's on our drive, the numbers are different. Is there a newer? Version? There's. You might be looking at the long month. Are you looking at November or December? Oh, I was looking at November. Yeah, where? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Okay, so highway? Highway highway revenues are collected but for the last uh, state aid to highway checks. Um, and just as a reminder, well, as we collect taxes, we book over an amount of property taxes to cover the highway budget minus the amount of anticipated revenues primarily state aid to highway. So that's why um, highway revenues are, are, are always going to be 100% um, collected. Highway has priority 
and general government has to cover highway. So the best practice is to book over all those revenues as soon as, soon as we have them. And that's what I have done, and that's what you see here. Uh, expenses with the highway are tracking very closely with what we see in general government, where about 63% of budgeted expenditures. Again, we have had payments and so forth. Um, I am not uh, feeling nervous about those expenditures. Again, let's take a look in February. And we may want to just call on Toby to see what his feel uh, is for that. Also remember our experience last year was that we did go over budget and budgeted highway expenses, but the grant revenues, which were not budgeted, actually put highway in the black and we were able to put um, quite a bit of money into the highway capital equipment funds. So. So again, um, we'll take a look at that uh, better in February, I think. Uh, we're, we're on to page three, the balance sheet. We look good. We still have a fund balance. The current fund balance is $380,000 plus. Um, and that fund balance is built from the balance that we came into the year with a plus whatever we have collected in revenues minus the expenses we've had thus far. So, and that's about, they recommend about three months worth of They recommend about 20% of our budget. We mm -hmm. don't have a policy that requires that per se. Um, there are financial policies you could put into place. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you would want to talk about the accountants, just with the accountants to see if that was wise. Mm -hmm. Once we have a policy in place that says we need to have X percentage um, <coughs> in our fund balance, uh, uh, then it, if we didn't have it, you'd have to go out and collect it. Right. So if we can see ourselves maintaining our fund balance without that mandate. Um, I think that I think we've done a good job of that, recognizing that I think we had to dip into it a little bit. A um, little bit last but year, last year not, but by not by much. But, it, but it's also great that we don't have to take out a loan in anticipation of taxes and pay any interest. Well, what you have is a much uh, a greater comfort level than you have had in, historically right. in that you're able to manage your grant expenses, your, it, it, as, and as you say, you haven't had to take a loan in anticipation of taxes. We've been able to uh, manage our summer uh, grant expenses mm -hmm. and also the first two or three months of the new fiscal year Before with that. our fund balance. Right. So, uh, And that's what it's meant to do. That is what it's meant to do. So it's, it looks very good. Yeah, I feel like we're in really good shape with that. I, it, uh, uh, it is my personal goal, if I'm allowed to have a personal goal, to make sure that you continue to have a good fund balance. So I keep an eye on that, and um, it, it would be very valuable to the town to, to be able to have that comfort level. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the tax collection effort, uh, <laughs> At the close of 2019, there were 190,000 plus in uncollected 2019 taxes. Um, it is higher than last year at this time. The collection process was begun. Mm -hmm. um, and you do have a copy in this package of the delinquent tax warrant, which lists those outstanding So do we have any 2018 left? We have very few. Uh, in 2018, there, uh, there are 85, as of today, there are $8,500 left in 2018 delinquent taxes. Um, and are they on a plan? Oh, well, two are with Gloria. Mm -hmm. One will go to Gloria. That person has been motioned. That particular parcel was motioned in December right, to yeah. go to Gloria. Yeah. I always yeah. give those folks one last shot to know mm -hmm. that that's what's going to happen. Get your money in, at least your 2018 money in. Mm -hmm. um, and that particular parcel did not. So uh, 
and I was really hoping that it, that would work out, but I will be sending that parcel to Gloria tomorrow. Um, so, so, yeah. Um, in terms of uh, delinquent taxes, are we seeing many of the same folks? I'm wondering oh, if yes. people are they are they struggling? Uh, I, or is it just kind of their rhythm? That I think it's, it could really be a rhythm uh, thing. When I took over from Nadine, these same names populated her files. So it could just be that folks are out of sync. The folks going to Gloria, which it really is two, two or three taxpayers at this point, um, I think that's different. I'm, I'm not exact, I, and I can't yeah. speculate yeah. on exactly what that difference is. But there are a bunch of folks who really just kind of are on a different rhythm than mm -hmm. what we have. Did they get behind five years ago and this is just the way yeah. it's going to be for them? Yeah. But they end up I don't paying. know. But they end up paying. It's like folks who carry a continual balance on their credit cards they mm -hmm. never seem to yeah. have a wearable yeah. yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and I, I do think, I, I heard specifically from one person that, that it there is absolutely a, a like let's call it seasonal cycle mm -hmm. um, that doesn't fit with the town's tax cycle. Yeah. So, and, but that person, you know, perhaps reluctantly but grudgingly does work something out with you. Mm -hmm. The, as I've said before, I really my goal is to create a team with our taxpayers. No, pun I, I really don't believe in punishment. Folks mm -hmm. truly, truly do want to pay their bills. That's mm -hmm. human nature right. for most people. And recognizing that it, it, we make, you know, we make a plan together that is reasonable. Right. And, and most um, people are embarrassed that they can't pay it. And they are. And, and we have to, you know, I mean, they're having a hard time. And they are. Yeah. And so our office really makes sure that uh, they are treated with respect right. and, um, and that what, you know, whatever, that we really reach as far as we can to make right. it work for them. And we just need to be kind to people. Yeah. Because any of us could have a time when we're in that same situation and we would That's want right. to be treated the same way. That's right. Folks also rely in part on the return of their uh, uh, IRS refunds, oh, and so yeah. that hits in April, and I see a lot of mm -hmm. uh, payments at that time. Yeah. On the good note, I will tell you that as, uh, as of today, I ran a report, so this is today's report, not December's report. Mm -hmm. We are down 129,000, so, so we collect from 190. So Excellent. we've collected a considerable amount of taxes. Oh, Many of these taxes, I, you know, I don't really have to shake the trees too hard to mm -hmm. get this first um, several, well, tens of several tens of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. initially. As we get further away, um, that's where we have to work hard. Have a hard time, like calling you. To set up a plan, but if we call them sometimes, you know, open the door a little bit. We um, handhold first it. timers, maybe yeah. know that that's an right. option. We had a number of uh, and continue to have a number of check return checks, and mm -hmm. that has muddied the water a little bit. Um, I, I don't really know why mm -hmm. there seemed to be more this year than there have been in the past, but suffice it to say, that's yeah. the way it is. It makes me worry that, you know, people are having, every year it's a little more, and people I think are having a harder and harder time. And as everybody's aging and on fixed incomes, you know, it, it's, it's worrisome. It's worrisome that it is indeed. Um, okay. That is, that is my report. Uh, at this point, I think uh, at 50% of the fiscal year, I think we are in good shape. I am not alarmed by the amount of delinquent taxes. Um, yeah. I become more alarmed in April when they're set forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. And that's you know when we right. start to get nervous, and that's when we're really happy that we have a fund balance. Right. Because we have summer coming, and <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It'll, it'll be very telling in April compared to last April. 
you know, especially since the school tax went up so much, and it's just not going to get any better. Um, you know, what can we do? So, anyways, that's just my well. That's say. At some point, I. I sh we don't have the time. I was going to say, I should give you the... You're going to give us one of those sheets, right? The effect of our tax rate on $200,000 $200, of right. assessed value. So you're going to give us that tax sheet like you like we usually get that says, if you vote article, yes, whatever, this is how much you're... This is do you have a minute for me to run that off? It's yeah. one yeah. sheet. Can yeah. I do that yeah. now, and you great. can reflect on it? And if you have further questions, yeah. we can look at that again. Well, we can look at it again. Twenty-four. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That was that great. Right? Yeah. Thank you. And that, that page will be in the town report. Right. I usually carry that one around with me. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's really helpful, you know, because people, you know, you, you see the budget in the town report based on. You know right. what we've budgeted, but then when you add in some of these other things, people don't necessarily realize. I don't. I don't really think they really realize that if they vote in all these other articles, It'll be an extra it's going to be an extra. Oh, I don't know. I don't really think people understand that. No, totally. it doesn't affect. So, so is two hundred thousand dollars? Is that the average homestead value? No, Sandra? it's just a. It's a quick and dirty. It's a okay. good number where if you have. A four hundred thousand dollar property or a six hundred thousand right. dollar property, mm -hmm. you, you can easily double or triple that number. Right, or have it. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious if that's where that number came from. I I, I just wanted it to be. Yeah, because then that it's sheet, an exercise. That sheet shows okay. if you pass the thing for the the loan for the chipper, it's mm -hmm. this many cents. Like for social services, it would be about twenty-five or twenty-six dollars per two hundred thousand dollars of assessed value. Right. So, and so I like it when it's each thing broken down, and then we do the total. And then now sell a four-pack of beer for fifteen dollars, just by way of comparison. Oh, um, and you know, which is crazy. That one here. That's a big sack. That's a uh, I mean, I think, what's going on? Of beer is a lot of money in my Is the six-pack going to become a one-pack soon? I can get a nice bottle of wine for that. Crazy. So, um, oh, I know. Um, something we can do while Sam is doing that. I got this thing on email. Um, from, remember Joanne Darton from mm -hmm. Forest Parks? Mm -hmm. And why I, I asked her, I said, when did this thing start? Because this is the first time I'm seeing it. They have. Um, Tree Steward Award nominations, and there are several different categories. But I wanted to ask the board, what would you think about nominating our Conservation Commission for this Tree Steward Award? I think I forwarded this email to everybody. Mm -hmm. Nominate your tree hero. But the Conservation Commission has worked. Yeah, they don't. They have collectively. really collectively yeah. done a ton, mm -hmm. a ton of work, especially with this Emerald Ash Four. They're right. they're very active. That's I would right. like to nominate them if that's so. Yeah, that's a great good? idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll nominate them in the community group category. Yeah. Oh, they have that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they have several. They have three different categories, but the one that I think suits us best is the. Conservation Commission. Thank you to all. Hopefully you'll get some rest before town meeting. See you, Judy. Yes, that'll be my plan. I'll pace myself. Okay. Take care. Don't forget Valentine's Day is on Friday. I know. We're having a family dinner. You can just leave it on the floor. Don't write on the Okay. Great. So, um... Um, the way this printed out, uh, I apologize for it, but it had to get to the printer in a way that she could manipulate it. It's oh, you mean to a, Laura? Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a top and bottom thing. So what you have very quickly is we have budgeted expenses, and those are the expenses that are in your proposed budget. Um, we have our proposed income. So we would subtract the income, the proposed income from our expenses, and we would be um, raising $1.3 million uh, in Article 4. 
All right, that's what's in your warning. Mm -hmm. That's how we come about that. So your estimated town tax, as you remember, is based upon the grand list, and it is the expenses divided by the grand list. Well, we don't have a grand list yet this year. We're going to have to use the last year's grand list. Uh, and so this is an estimated tax rate. Um, and you can go across and see what that tax rate looks like. There's the town tax, there's the estimated local agreement tax. The uh, educational homestead tax came from the district and that is the estimated total tax for 2020 based on these variables, your proposed budget passing and a grand list very similar to last year. And there it is compared with uh, the 2019 tax rate. Mm -hmm. Now, when we add so the one, go ahead. Estimated town tax, 0.6737. Estimated local agreement tax, that is that the um, that's your veterans and your uh, non-contract is, is that the county properties. county tax that's your veterans and your non-contract tax what do you mean, mean non-contract so those are the um, we call them um, non-tax but for sake of ease they are the properties that the town has decided not to tax oh like uh, maple your non-profit like yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, and that means those, okay, because I, I don't know that anybody's going to really know what that means. So it's the veterans exemption, and... So on your page two, it just calls it your non-taxed properties. There's a little footnote there. So, so has anybody heard, I, I saw Chris Cochran at the State House. Mm -hmm. I see him every day, but we had, I had a conversation with him uh, like a week ago about the... The uh, hall. The hall. Remember the key? I'm just looking at this. And there was a, an opinion issued by the tax department. There was? Yeah. Wait, what was the we haven't seen it, but that this property's current um, ownership configuration and utilization uh, configuration, say configuration in the deed and the related documents um, indicate to the tax department that um, its use is consistent with the existing exemption in statute, oh, and therefore, that's good news. yeah, it's good news. So therefore, they don't, they don't need to pursue a, a statutory change, right? Because that's what we suggest they do. Change to maintain that exempt status at the state level. So um, we don't have to exempt them. All right. So they're going to continue to be statutorily exempt, okay. course letter. But we want to get that. Yeah, we, we want that in the file. We want to stick it with the deeds or however right. you do that. In case you know, yeah. so we don't. So there's a change of philosophy at the tax department, which has happened before. Right. And so I we said that to writing. Chris Cochran. We need that, and uh, <coughs> and I said I, I continue to be a little bit worried. Yeah. But he said there's also an accompanying. There's a policy document that it was reviewed against. Their their opinion request was reviewed mm -hmm. against, and they could check all the boxes. Good. So it. it Apparently there are there are other properties that fall into these kinds of categories. So that means we don't have to accept it. Right. So and if everybody that else pays a, the tax. There's no education, there's uh, no education. tax okay. liability that would go to the town by a virtue of a town exemption. They're exempted okay. at a higher level at the state level. So. And we wouldn't have to even if. No, we wouldn't. But we, just to be just so we're clear. No, that's right. Okay. If if there were a que if if, if this that was didn't come no out, it might be a request. Right. Right, but remember, they came to us wanting us to put it on to be tax exempt.